Hello, my friends. Today I have a wonderful book. The name is The Dot. And the writer is Peter H. Reynolds. Our class was over, but Vashti sat glued to her chair. Her paper was empty. Vashti's teacher leaned over the blank paper. Ah, a polar bear in a snowstorm, she said. Very funny, said Vashti. I just can't draw. Her teacher smiled. Just make a mark and see where it takes you. Vashti grabbed a marker and gave the paper a good, a strong jab. There! Her teacher picked up the paper and studied it carefully. Mm. She pushed the paper toward Vashti and quietly said, Now sign it. That is the draw. Vashti thought for a moment, well, maybe I can't draw, but I can sign my name. The next week, when Vashti walked into our class, she was surprised to see what was hanging above her teacher's desk. It was the little dot she had drawn. Her dot, all framed in a shrinkly good gold. Look at this. Hmm. I can make a better dot than that. She opened her never before used set of watercolors and set to work. Vashti paint and paint a yellow dot, a green dot, a red dot, a blue dot. The blue mix with red, she discovered that she could make a purple dot. Vashti kept experimenting. Lot of little dots in many colors. If I can make little dots, I can make big dots too. Vashti splashed her color with a bigger brush on bigger paper to make bigger dots. Vashti even made a dot but not painting a dot. Look. At the school art show a few weeks later, Vashti's made dots made a quite a splash. Vashti noticed a little boy gazing up at her. You're really great artist. I wish I could draw, he said. I bet you can, said Vashti. Me? No, not me. I can draw a straight line with a ruler. Vashti smiled. She hand the boy a blank sheet of paper. Show me. The boy pencil shook as he drew his line. This is the picture. Vashti stared at the boy's squiggle and then she said, Please sign it. The end. That is the end of the story. 
and this writer dedicate this book to her his math teacher when he was in grade seven. That is a wonderful story. I hope to see you next week. Bye.